Hello, and after some absence, welcome back to Steedcast. You join me here for G Bizzle's Big Christmas Quizzle. Uh, you may have seen, uh, it was a, a segment in uh, one of our last Christmas uh, offerings, if anyone remembers. Uh, anyway, hello Steedcast, hello Tom, uh, uh, Richard and Sean, hello. Hello. Greetings. Yeah, a bit of fun, a bit of a Christmas quiz to round off the year. And uh, as I say, it's been a while since we've done anything, so I thought I'd get the gang back together for Christmas time. Hello, everybody. Afternoon. Hello. Hello. Yeah, so, uh, everyone good? Everyone good? Sorted, but I just come from a D&D session. Dungeons and Dragons or something? No, goblins, son. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know why that's Uh, so funny. (laughs) Just a matter of fact. No, goblins. (laughs) For the benefit of the tape... For the benefit of the tape, I am not wearing a fake moustache this time, so there's no problems there. Um, so yeah, I might just get straight into things, to be honest. It's a Christmas time, it's a Christmas quiz. Yeah, Christ. I'm ready yes. to go. Yeah. So I've, I've done into I've done it three sections, uh, just to just to uh, give a bit of a, a clarity in what's going on. There's going to be a section I've called World Christmas. There's going to be Christmas films, and there's going to be Christmas music, nice and easy. Uh, I, I've got uh, five. Five questions within each section. Nice and easy, nothing stressful. So, uh, whenever we're ready, we're good to go? Yeah. Christ. Okay, Let's do so, it. for section one, I'm going to do World Christmas. So, here we go. In which country is it tradition to hide a pickle in a Christmas tree? I repeat, in which question, uh, in which country is it tradition to hide a pickle in a Christmas tree? Everybody ready? I'm already. Uh, I'm already. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Now we're looking for your answers. Oh. Okay. Uh, I can confirm that it's Tom Cartwright that has got it right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, the tradition of hiding a pickle in a Christmas tree is commonly associated with Germany. It is known as the Christmas pickle or Weihnacht Gurke. The pickle <laughs> ornament is hidden within the branches of the Christmas tree. And the first person to find it on Christmas morning receives a special gift or is said to have good luck in the coming year. I can't pronounce that, though. Uh, why not? Why not? Okay. Every year we play hide the pickles in. Yeah, we do. Um, so, yeah, Tom, Tom's, Tom's got that one right. Yeah. Sticking it to the sausage-eating Bosch. <laughs> Can I say that? It's a black other joke. Can I get me cancelled? Possibly, sir. <laughs> Some find out. Uh, right, ready for question two of the world Christmas section. Which figure from Christmas folklore punishes badly behaved naughty children? Whenever everybody's ready, we'll uh, ask for your answer. Tell me when, son. Can I see your yeah. answers, please? Okay, I can confirm that <laughs> Sean, Sean and Tom... I couldn't remember the name. I've got that, ax, uh, that question correct. It is the Put Krampus. <laughs> the Krampus so- is a figure from Christmas folklore known for punishing badly behaved children, particularly in Austrian and German regions and other surrounding areas. The Krampus is uh, a horned creature with demonic features which accompanies St. Nicholas during the Christmas season. While St. Nicholas rewards the good children, the Krampus is said to punish misbehaving badly behaved children. Yeah, so, he, he, he tells them to hide the pickle. <laughs> have you, yeah. um, have you any seen, anyone seen the, uh, the Krampus film? Like the 2015 nah. Krampus. There is a movie. film in there, yeah, there is a film. Mm. Can you tell me a bit more about that film? Cause, uh, well, it's basically, as you said, but instead of really like punishing kids, it just seems to have been a free-for-all, like Freddy vs. Jason, like hunting everyone. It's one of them horror country. films, yeah. It's one of them... It's a horror movie, yeah. It is, yeah. yeah, but Super like one of them sort of movie. low-end horror movies. Sounds like food it's drama. Got, it's got a lot of... Um, it, does, it is kind of like the, the robot Santa, but not when he was... It's not quite the same. I don't suppose it's actually... It, the, it, the theme of death and Christmas... <coughs> Is there, but then otherwise, no, it's not like you're from. <laughs> it's like, it's like that film. Um, what's the film with the, y- your man from uh, Stranger Things in it? Isn't that like a, uh, a scary Christmas film? Oh. Um, your man from um, your man from Stranger Things in it. When on a rider? No, yeah, your, your, your Hopper. Is it Hopper? Is that his name? <laughs> I know the guy's name. I don't there's know. Some oh, kind of bad, married to Lily Allen. That there's some kind of, yeah, there's some kind of bad Santa film he's in. I can't remember the name of it. but oh, no, uh, that's a Santa. comedy, that, isn't it? The bad Santa. Yeah. Bad Bumpy. Um, I don't know. There's a Bad Bumpy film out there, right? <laughs> Robert De Niro or something in there, isn't it? Um, 
<laughs> he used yeah, to be a good actor. What if we both, we both had that right, me and Tom both had that right, does that mean the point gets divided between the two of us or we both no, get you just one both, point? You, you both get a point each, as simple as that. Fucking yeah, yeah. wicked bad. Um, so I'll move on to question three. I do. Right, you are. What, I repeat, what is the famous Christmas plant often used for decoration? I repeat, what is a famous or the famous Christmas plant often used for decoration? I don't know if I can spell it. <laughs> a red, I'm looking for, a, by the way, I'm looking for a red in coloured Christmas plant. Clue. Oh. Often used for decoration. Oh. Are you ready? Well, uh, oh, fuck, oh. I can't even check Google to check the spelling because uh, you look like I'm cheating. <laughs> uh, too many screens to even consider cheating. <laughs> 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 it's too hard. Can I see your answers, please? Uh, no, the answer I was looking for was the poinsettia. The what? Oh, obviously. It's the, uh, like. the poinsettia, native to Mexico, is known for its red and green foliage and widely used in Christmas floral displays. Is it? Yes, sir. Widely, yeah. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> never mind, never mind. I've Today been had. I've been had, yeah. Question four. Uh... Which country is credited with the tradition of the Christmas tree? I repeat, which country is credited with the tradition of the Christmas tree? This one's Ooh. easy. Is it easy? It could be two. I think I've got the wrong one. Never mind. You ready? I'm ready. Can I see your answers, please? <coughs> Sean Jenkins? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, right, okay. okay. It doesn't try, Sean. Um, I can confirm that Tom Cartwright is right there. Once again, it is a German tradition. Uh, the tradition of the uh, Christmas tree is believed to have originated in Germany in the 16th century. Uh, it became widely popular in the 19th century and gradually spread worldwide. Germany can do See, no wrong, I, son. I was going to say Germany, but there was an answer for Germany earlier on. I thought, oh, I can't be Germany twice. Nah, no, Germany got a monopoly on all things Christmas. They seem... Uh, and kings, the kings of Christmas, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so what you're telling me, and the answer is not Nigeria. Unfortunately, not Nigeria, <laughs> no. But a very good guess, though. I will admit, a very, very good guess. <laughs> but not Nigeria. Question five of this section. Uh, where does the traditional Christmas dessert, I repeat, where does the traditional Christmas dessert, the Yule log, originate from? That's, where does the Yule log originate from? You are? What do you call me? The Yule log. <laughs> <laughs> Where does the U log originate from? It better not be log home, by the way, by pressing the pause button. So if you're ever in doubt, go Germany, like. Well, yeah. Uh, uh, be Nigeria. Who's no. from Austria? <laughs> oh. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you could reveal your answers, please, gentlemen. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, none of you've got it right there. The correct answer is France. Oh, the U-log, often known <laughs> as the Boucher de Noël, uh, is a traditional Christmas dessert uh, originating in, from France. I, I just come back from France as well. Sound, no, sound right. I thought you come back from Iceland, not the, uh, not yeah, the supermarket. But, like a week before that, I went to um, France as well. Do you know in Iceland they've got Iceland? What, the actual supermarket? Yeah, fucking Kerry Gatona and everything. <laughs> Everyone's always on about expensive risk, but it's like, what bone? But, um... No, yeah, they they got the supermarket there and everything. What's one pound? What can that you get for one pound like, in Iceland? That sounds really weird having a shop nuggets. called Iceland in Iceland. Like, yeah. are you are you pulling our legs here? No, no, no. They, they've That's they've got Iceland fact. in Iceland. I wouldn't be surprised if it came from there. Really, no. I used to like Iceland. It's just well, horrible well, well. down here. It's like a fucking warehouse, isn't it? It just freezes in it. So, I'm going to move on to Christmas films now, uh, which is a uh, probably more enjoyable one for yourselves, I imagine. Christmas films, are we ready? Nigeria is an answer anymore. You never know, son. It could could well be um, within within this series of questions. So I, I wouldn't rule it out just yet. Okay. Um, so I'm going to start with question one. Which Christmas movie, I repeat, which Christmas movie or film uh, features a dysfunctional family, the Griswolds, holiday gathering? Uh, which uh, Christmas movie features the dysfunctional family, the Griswolds, holiday gathering nice bit of Christmas slapstick humour is it someone in the show Recess called Griswold 
Uh, Gus Griswold. Gus Griswold, is, yeah. Yeah, that is, yeah. Any relation to this film? No, but they probably may have, may have taken um, like into the name Griswold to, and called... Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know this, son. I, I can't think of this one, no. Are you anyone ready? Yeah. I'm ready. I'm not Born too ready, confident, son. though. No problem. Can you reveal your answers? Uh, I can't confirm Richard has got it right. Yeah, it's National Lampoon's uh, Christmas Vacation, starring Chevy know, Chase, who Hello, Tom will know as Pierce Hawthorne from uh, the TVC's community. He was in Shin does this, was he? No, he was in National <laughs> Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, no? <laughs> Can't imagine Pierce in Shin does this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good heavens. Oh, well done. Well done there. Fine Again, sure, correct. a very good nice. guess. Um, but unfortunately, not the correct answer. <laughs> but a very good guess, though. Uh, which uh, <laughs> brings me up to question two. When that ready? popular Christmas film. Uh, what is the name of a 1946 movie in which James Stewart plays a man who gets to see what life would be like if he'd never been born? I repeat. That's which a Christmas movie film. stars James Stewart who plays a man who gets to see what life would be like perhaps if he'd never been born? Um, a Christmas classic. I don't have a clue. I don't have no idea what to write. Uh, no problem. Have a think, son. Have a think. Have a wee think, son. Everybody's ready? Are we ready? Yeah. I think Sean's right in. No problem. Alright, then. I haven't got a clue. I'm just going to take reveal, marks. If you could reveal your answers or non answers. Uh, unfortunately, none of you got it right there. The answer is It's a Wonderful Life, which is... Oh my is, fucking God, I was uh, going to put that in there. But that's <laughs> not what that's about, is it? Yeah, It's a Wonderful Life, uh, uh, which is highly out, regarded as one of uh, the greatest uh, traditions yeah. of Christmas family watching uh, of all time, I believe. I didn't know that's what that was about. I thought they were like fighting over like... They were fighting some businessman over them stealing all his money and they just broke at the end and they, they can't afford Christmas. I thought that's what a Wonderful Life was about. That's part of it, I think. Uh, really? I'm fucking Googling this. Sorry. But by all means, yeah. By all <laughs> I'm means. sure I've seen this. Google you know, like, you're this, son. Wonderful Life film. I don't... I'm I'm just for my own sanity. I'm just beyond confused. I don't remember that happening. Is it but warm in here or is it just me? It's warm in here, yeah. Ah, it's warm in here, son. Definitely. It's boiling. I've got the bloody fire on. <laughs> roaring <laughs> in the background. Positively roaring. Yeah, with all these lights as well, it's bloody, uh, they are. And, and you're wearing a hat and a jumper as well. well that's the thing. What are we saying on this wonderful life, Sean? I think you're right, because he, he's trying to kill himself, isn't he? Basically, yeah, not not to darken the mood, but yeah, he, I think he's a suicidal man. Um, I'm correct, yeah. What but then, film? you could argue that, that, that if, I was, if I was to say that question to you again, and change the words around a little bit, it could also be mistaken for Christmas Carol, couldn't it? Thinking about it. That's Where what I thought. I, that was my second answer. Which yeah, I yeah well, screw, to be honest, if, some, if, if somebody asked me that in a quiz, myself, mm. I thought, oh, maybe there could be a Christmas Carol. A little bit. But I, I don't think they show him like what it was when he born to Scrooge today. He's more of different no, circumstances like, and things, yeah. isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Never mind. That was a good one, that was. No problem, yeah. sir. Good one. I caught, I caught me out, that did. So, Co my third question. Caught short, you, sir. My uh, my third question is um, I I think I got a feeling everyone's going to get this one. Um, in which film does Arnold Schwarzenegger play a father desperately trying to get a Turbo Man action figure for his son on Christmas Eve? I repeat, Watched in it which the other film? day, son. What's that's that, a guess. This one is. Watched it the other day. No problem. I love the film. So that's I love which film thing. does Arnold Schwarzenegger play a father desperate to get his hands on a much-loved uh, doll action figure? For his son's Christmas. Everybody ready? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, sorry, I've spelt it wrong. I'm going to redo it. No problem, son. Oh, okay. I probably got it wrong then if you spelt it wrong. When you're ready, if you could reveal your answers, please, gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, Sean, I'll be honest. No, I, I know the answer, I'm just fanning around, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's no problem. Can you, can you tell me the answer, or just do... Um... Rich, Richard has the right answer, just yeah. jingle all the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's right, that's right. You uh, threw me Phil off Hartman. with your action Phil hero, son. I, I, I don't know any Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> film. Did he he film? Uh, yeah, the answer is, is, uh, is jingle all the way. Um, jingle all the way there. 
Last Action Hero is a good film, though. I did enjoy that. That is a fantastic film, Last yeah. Action Hero. It's one of my favourite films. But Last Action Hero was a bit of a flop, and a lot of people didn't like it. But I think mm. it's an absolutely fantastic film. I liked it when I was a kid. It probably doesn't hold. I watched True Lies for the first time the other day. It's one of the only Arnie films I haven't seen. That's a good one. But it's, yeah, it's ridiculous. He had, he had a, a very solid run throughout the 90s of, of hit after hit, fantastic stuff. Um, uh, Jungle All The Way, though, was released in 1996. And uh, I, I didn't realise that. 1996. So, moving on to question four. Which city is the setting for the movie Elf starring Will Ferrell? I repeat, which city is the setting for the movie Elf starring Will Ferrell? When you ready? I could see your answers when ready. Uh, what do you like? Can confirm that uh, Sean mm-hmm. and Richard are right. It's New York City, uh, but he comes from the North Pole to venture into New York City to find his estranged father, his long lost yeah, father. The only, only good thing about that film is Zoe Deschanel in the mid twenties. I can't confirm. Blonde hair. I can't confirm. <laughs> uh, yeah. I hate. So, uh, I hate Elf. I can't stand Elf, man. It's so not funny. It is literally just the most unfunny film I've ever seen in my life. You'd be surprised. I I, I feel that quite a lot. A lot of a lot of people don't seem to find not only that film, but Will Ferrell himself funny, no etc. Cetera, et cetera. I enjoyed oh, Anchorman well, when then. I first saw saw Anchorman, but yeah, oh, come on. I don't really find him funny to be honest. So I will say um, one as well. That wasn't very good. Uh, I will say Step Brothers though Rated has glory. one of the greatest fart scenes of all time. Bar the Professor Table fart scene, of course. He's really good talking, in Stranger Than Fiction. If we talk about the top tier fart thing. scenes, then that, that would be in there. Moving on to question five. Uh, my most enjoyable question of the bunch so far. When you ready? In the 1988 Christmas classic Die Hard, which building is the main setting for the majority of the film's action? I repeat, in the 1988 oh. Christmas classic Die Hard, which building is the main setting for the majority of the film's action? <laughs> I see your answers then, please. <coughs> Um, I'm going to accept Sean's answer because oh, uh, yeah. it's, it's not it's not the correct uh, word <laughs> I'm looking for, but I I'll accept it due to to the, the the spelling and pronunciation of yeah it's it uh, it come it, it uh, I'll accept that it's it's actually Plaza I believe isn't it is it Plaza or Tower? It's wow. Pla- Plaza is the answer, but yeah, it's Plaza is the correct answer. I'll accept is all it? answers. Nakatomi. What? Yakanomi, what is it? Nakatomi. Nakatomi, yeah. See, Naka, I knew it. Nakatomi I... Plaza is apparently. Because I thought the plaza was the area, but the tower is where they were. That's Nakatomi Tower. In which case, yeah. I've literally much, yeah, written Nakatomi plaza. plaza, mind. But no Tower mind. Plaza. Nice teacher. Yeah, you, get, you get a point, so don't worry. Where, where is that from, Rich? Is that, is that yeah, anyone, specific, that anyone local designed that at all? No, nah, it's a website site called Chip Shop. All right, okay. Yeah. Uh... So yeah, that's that was the uh, the films part of it. So I'm going to move on now to the Christmas music part of it. Uh, so for example, if I said to you, uh, which Paul um, sang the first line on Band Aids? Do they know it's Christmas? Sean would say to me, Paul. Well, uh, uh, yeah, I don't think I know. <laughs> He's forgot. <laughs> Your man's forgot. Uh, Insert oh. clip here. Whose is the first voice that you hear? On Band Aid's 1984 single, Do They Know It's Christmas Time? As in, who sings the first line? Uh, the answer is Paul Young. Who the Wait. fuck is Paul Young? I don't think yeah. I ever knew. Do I don't know. Is this, is this a it, was, uh, it was Paul Young, if you remember. Uh, I, was, I, was just, uh, I was throwing an Easter egg back to our last. Uh... Oh, Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Can't that far back. So, uh, <laughs> moving on to the Christmas music. Uh, which classic Christmas carol originated in Austria? I repeat, which classic Christmas carol originated in Austria? Are you ready? Anybody, everybody ready to reveal, please? I can't, oh confirm, I can't confirm that Richard has got that right. It was <coughs> Silent Night. Um, also known, really? as, Silent Night. also known as, and Sean will like this uh, pronunciation of, Steel Nacht. Uh, it was composed by Franz Zever Gruber, uh, with lyrics by Joseph Mohauer in 1818 in Obendorf Bay, Salzburg, Austria. It's a Austrian uh, penned piece. Did it you like a Steel Nacht, Sean? What was it called? Steel Nacht. Uh, steel, it... steel Nacht. Or steel Nacht. Silent like Nacht. Nacht. <laughs> Sontag Nacht. 
So uh, yeah. So uh, Richard, get that right. Um, Richard, moving yeah. on to the next question. When you're ready. Who composed the famous ballet, The Nutcracker, often associated with Christmas? I repeat, who composed the famous ballet, The Nutcracker, often associated with Christmas? Spelling's going to be horrific on this one, I think. Uh, yeah. No, hold on, hold on. Uh, I, I understand the, the spelling situation on this, so... Your best, your best guess at... Is that I put it on the screen prompt? When you're ready? It? When you're yeah. ready? Can you go reveal? Uh, I can't confirm it was Richard who got that right. It was Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky yeah. uh, and uh, it well features the uh, the iconic piece, uh, Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. Uh, and it was originated in 1892. Uh, full name, Piotr Ilyik Tchaikovsky. I can't see it. I can't see it. I can't see it. <laughs> um, his, his second name looks quite Welsh. It's got the, the double L thing in it by the looks of it. Like a... It's very. You might, you might have had a Welsh origin. I can't confirm. I can't possibly. Welsh confirm. grandmother. So. But yeah, the answer was the Nutcracker. Right. Welsh uh, parents, perhaps. Welsh mother, father, grandparent. But uh, yeah, it was Tchaikovsky's the answer I was looking for there, which uh, Richard got right. Um, moving on to our next one. Um, slightly <laughs> more up to date. Slightly. Uh, what year did Mariah Carey, 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 release her hit Christmas song? All I want for Christmas is you. I repeat, which year did Mariah Carey release? All I want for Christmas is you. When you're ready, you can reveal your guesses, gentlemen. What are we saying? <laughs> Hello, uh, Tom. You got? Anything? Oh, we're recording, and I'm fucking burnt my nut off. Sorry, oh, guys. No problem. <laughs> um, Sorry, I said. None I of you. We were recording now. now then, none of you have actually got that right, but. Tom was years, Tom was <laughs> ever so close. Tom Cartwright was ever so close there. Thank the, you. Co- the correct answer is 1994. Oh, blame me. Oh. Yeah, 1994. So, um, well done, Tom. You were very, very close there. Very close. I'm lucky, but do I get yeah. a point for that? Um, no, not in this. Not in this particular edition of G Bizzle. I, I'm only accepting the correct answers, but I will give no, you a special watch. mention. Have Next good. year we'll do a quiz where it's all wrong answers and, and you we'll get a point get for a wrong answer. We'll do some yeah. kind of pointless style thing or something. We'll, we'll mix it up a bit or something. Um, so, uh, in the classic song Frosty the Snowman, what makes Frosty come to life? I repeat, in the song Frosty the Snowman, what makes Frosty come to life? A particular piece, a particular item. What makes Frosty come to life? You ready to reveal, please? Uh, very good. Some very, very good answers there from Tom and Sean. But it's Richard who has got the answer right. It is a magical oh. silk hat. Okay. Frosty has a magical silk hat that uh, brings him to life when placed on his head. Imagine hiding the pickle. The <laughs> snowman very good just comes Very good guess. Very, very good guess. Um, mm. So our last, our last question of this particular round, of this particular game, of this particular edition of G Bizzle's Big Christmas Quizzle. This is our last question. Who released the song Happy Xmas in brackets War Is Over in 1971? I repeat, who released the song Happy Xmas in brackets War Is Over way back in 1971? Now there are several variations of the answer I will accept for this as well, which I will uh, get back to once revealed. Um, can I have a clue? Oh, it's not even help. Is this the last one? The last question of the round. The last question of this year's edition of Jeep Bizzle Big Christmas Quizzle. I can't leave it blank. No problem, son. Your best guess. I repeat, your right. best guess. I'm actually going to guess this, but I don't think he was even alive, but I'll guess it. Okay, sir, not a problem. It wasn't Harry Styles, I can tell you that. <laughs> Um, right, when you're ready. Oh, are we ready to reveal my brothers? Mm-hmm. My brother. Are we ready? <laughs> it's uh, very good guess from Sean there. Extremely good guess. Um, very close, but um, not right. Tom, very good guess. The correct answer, 
It could have been John Lennon. It could have been John and Yoko. It could have been John Lennon and the Plastic Ono Band. John and Yoko and the Plastic Ono Band. It could have been the Plastic Ono Band, John Lennon. The answer was John Lennon. Very well done. Uh, it was uh, released as a Christmas single uh, promoting uh, peace and love and sort of an anti-protest during the Vietnam War era, I believe. So that, that concludes... That concludes that round. That concludes that uh, edition of G Bizzle's Big Christmas Quiddle. I'm just going to do a brief count up now if uh, you yeah. want to uh, have some ident popping up or some music in the background whilst uh, we uh, speak to our uh, adjudicators. <laughs> These scores are back with us. I've just spoken to my assistant and uh, my earpiece there. Uh, the scores are. Tom Cartwright with four points, Gene Jenkins with three points, and in the lead, Richard Myrick with six points. Ooh, Who's won the, this back. year's particular uh, edition of G Bizzle's uh, Big Christmas Quiddle? I'd like to thank Richard for taking part and congratulate him. Uh, I it's suppose the price. I what a or something at some point, or uh, a gift of his choice. Um, yeah. Oh, Very well really? done. Okay. I can give you COVID if you want to. <laughs> nah, you're good. Nice. I believe I believe you just recovered from that, Tom. That's your current sickness this month, or it's my current sickness and the end this month. <laughs> what do you feel of next month sickness? Yeah. What okay. are you thinking next month? Um, Regular flu. I don't know. It, yeah, it'd be nice just to have something easy like Spanish flu or something. Spanish flu, yeah. Yeah, Spanish polio. Okay. All I want for Christmas is flu, is it, son? <laughs> oh, what are you? <laughs> That sounds like, that sounds like a song that the, the band Sean just guessed would have released, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for taking part, though. And, uh, again, it's just a bit of fun. A bit of fun, and I hope everybody enjoyed. Uh, Cheers, Grant, for that wonderful quiz. Oh, again next year. Son. Yeah, we have to do that again next year. Uh, so that, that pretty much wraps up Steedcast for the year. That wraps up the quiz for the year, and we'll see what the future holds next year for this group of gentlemen. Have a good right. Christmas, yo. Merry Christmas, one and all. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas yeah, and Happy New Year. <laughs> all the best. All right. <laughs>